All right, so welcome back, friends. And yes, if you're wondering, I did get my ears lowered. My granddad used to go get his hair cut by a friend of his who was an Indian. And he'd always, <laughs> this was before political correctness, but he'd say, yep, I'm, I'm heading down, gonna, gonna head down and get my scalping. <laughs> like, I don't know if you could get away with that anymore, but that was a different time. And uh, they were actually, you know, good, they were actually good friends, uh, that, but they bantered back and forth that way. So uh, I have got a ton of requests. Um, if I would share the story about uh, the story of getting three tickets on the Autobahn in Germany. I mentioned that uh, last week or a couple weeks ago uh, that I should tell you that story someday and I thought it might be, a, I'll go ahead and do that. So before that, uh, we flew into Sweden, right? So if, those of you who don't know, Mrs. W's mother is from Sweden. Uh, she came over as an au pair, met my father-in-law, and so that's where the Swedish connection is. So when you see the flags and different things, it, Mrs. W is a fluent speaker. She actually lived over there and taught English and, and there's a lot, all the families over there. So we went over, so I went over there for the first time. Now, to tell you something about me, I didn't grow up in an international family uh, and we weren't, I would, I would say less than adventurous when it comes to uh, food and that sort of thing. I uh, had not been exposed to anything that was out of the, you know, the little normal bubble that I grew up in. So, and that included travel as well. Mrs. W's family is very much, very much more of an international family, right? We have family in Europe and her brother lives in Amsterdam and all that. So it's a completely different, different deal. So I'm going over there for the first time, the, the ultimate ugly American, uh, wide-eyed to go over to Europe for the first time. So we flew, fly into Sweden. And um, so not being a, a, a adventurous eater, um, if you don't know, Swedish food is heavy in, uh, well, how would I say it, fermented fish and dill. A couple of the, th two of the things that I, I, I just don't care for. If I never had fish again, uh, I'd be okay with that. It's not, it's not a big deal. And then there's American fish, which is usually filleted and, and, and relatively easy to eat. You know, you're not bones and such. And then there's the Swedish fish, which is heavy in the bones and the head and the heavy in the fermentation, that sort of thing, with the dill. Did I mention that? So uh, we go to the, the whole family's getting together. You know, the, the Americans, are, you know, are coming in. It's a big deal. It was really a great, it was really a great party. Uh, but we, uh, we go into the kitchen and they've kind of done a, unfortunately, had done a traditional Swedish smorgasbord which means, I don't know what it means, but it means there's a whole bunch of stuff. I guess it's kind of like a, maybe like an American buffet. Well, it was very traditional, if you know what I mean, heavy on the fish and stuff. And so I'm not being an adventurous eater and, 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 and but not wanting to be rude either. And, and I've got this plate and I'm going through it and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, there's nothing here. I can't eat this stuff. There's nothing I can eat. And I'm, I'm, I'm like, I get this like minuscule, like little dollop of, of something on my plate, you know, and, and, and I mean, it's, it's getting embarrassing. I don't know what to do. I'm just thinking, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to have to eat the fish. But I see my salvation in the, towards the, the end of the line, someone, bless them, had cooked, I, they were like a Gordon fish, fish, what do you call them? A, a fish stick? The little things used to have in grade school. I knew what that was. I'm like, I, I could have some of that right there. I'll just load up on that and I'll be good. Because I was hungry. And so I, I know more than I scooted over there and I've got, you know, I'm scooping these things up. And, and one, some nice old lady, I don't remember who it was. She grabs my hand and says, oh no, those are for the children's. Oh so anyway, so that was that. But back to the, <laughs> the, the Autobahn. So then we, then we flew into to Munich, or was it Hamburg? It was someplace over there, uh, the fatherland. We flew down in there, and then, uh, mailman's here. Uh, and so then we rented a car, because we wanted to see the country, right? And I always wanted to drive on the Autobahn. So we rented this little car. It was a Mercedes-Benz A-Class, which I had never seen before. I don't think that they had A-Classes in the States, but it was a very, very small, compact car, right? So we got this thing. So if you don't know, the Autobahn, which runs through Germany, is essentially a, an interstate or like a superhighway, uh, and there is no speed limit on it. So you can, it's really crazy. And, and, the, and the Germans, they don't mess around. You know, they're not like drinking big gulps and slurpees when they're driving. And when they're driving, driving is a serious business, you know, so they're going to, they don't have any of that. So they drive very fast. Uh, but they don't have a lot of accidents because they're not texting and it's the German way. You know, I mean, they're just a just different culture. And so I'm excited to drive on this. And so what well, you have to understand is there's three lanes. It is absolutely das ist verboten, as they would say. It is not, for, it's forbidden to pass on the right-hand side, which it should be, Americans, 
we'd be better off if we did that. So you only have to worry about a threat coming from the left side because you, you know that you're safe on the right side. Trucks are on the right hand side, normal traffic is on the left, and then the people that are driving really, really fast, I mean really fast, are on the far left. And so it's different than the States because you'll see a little village and then you, uh, with the church steeple, and then you'll drive through country very orderly, very neat, and then you come to another village. And each one of these things you pull off and there's gas and little restaurant and it's just, it's like a little rest area. They're very um, uniform and kind of organized is what they do. It's, but the bad thing is, is that you, when you are ready to leave this thing and to merge onto the Autobahn, you've got to commit because these cars are going, you know, 100 and, I don't know, kilometers they're fast. Yeah, I don't know, 120, 130 miles an hour, I think, maybe 150. Fast, like really fast. You wouldn't believe it. And the this on-ramp deal to get onto this thing with the trucks and the normal cars and the race cars on the left is kind of short. So, I mean, you got to, you know, you know how you, you brace yourself up to shoot a 12-gauge shotgun? You know, you kind of got to man up, you know. You got to do that just to pull on this Autobahn thing. And you're looking at the tack. It's like, okay, first gear. I mean, you're just revving this engine because you got to be cooking when you merge into this craziness. And so you get in there and you get in the right-hand lane and then you're in the middle and you're going and you're good. And you're like, man, they drive fast here. You know, I'm looking. And, and so pretty soon you get comfortable with it and you think, well, I want to drive fast too. And so you, you're going to go for the left-hand lane. You're going, to, you're going to take it on. And you look in your mirror and you turn your signal and you see way, way back there is some lights, something coming up. And you're like, oh, I got plenty of time to get around these cars and, and I'll dive back in the middle lane. What you don't realize is that as soon as you make, commit, make that commitment and you're no more than halfway past the cars you're going to pass there's some angry german in the back in a bmw 8 series flashing his lights and honking his horn because you're because you're not wanting to go 200 miles an hour then you go back in i mean it was it's, it was it was <laughs> it was terrifying terrifying for the first few hours or so but anyway so to the tickets and so you know after an hour or so you kind of get into it you know and you're going along and it's fun to drive those speeds and then we would come into these little town little town things and I, I saw a flash. I got, what was that? Did you see that? And, oh yeah, Miss W, she'd seen it, and I didn't think too much of it. We came into this, came into the second, uh, second one like that, and I saw a flash. Like, what was that? And then it dawned on me, like, oh, but that was a photo radar. Apparently, th there is a speed limit when you come through different areas. And I was thinking to myself, uh, just when I was thinking, oh, man, how much is that going to cost? And am I going to be able to leave the country? And then it, then my mean, mean streak it, it kind of took over and said oh, if they want they, if they want to collect on that that ticket they can come find me in america right i thought i thought i would get over on the uh, on the hun uh but uh it happened a third time i got a third flash and of course just when i thought i was going to leave there without uh, contributing to the national debt does germany run a national debt they're probably too smart to do that um they had taken it out of my credit card deposit uh, the speeding tickets, when it, which it, it wasn't as much money as I thought it was going to be. But that was the story. That's how I got, I know it wasn't that great a story. I thought the funnier one was the, the fish sticks for the children, the children's, the children's. Uh, but that's it. So if you go to, what I learned, what, what do we learn from this video? If you go to Germany and you drive in the Autobahn, don't get an A-series, get a bigger car, get a faster one, and, um, and stay out of the left-hand lane. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.